Gideon's Bakehouse has long been touted as the greatest dessert spot at Disney Springs. Wait, scratch that. More like all of Disney World. Little did we know there was another world-renowned cookie shop just five minutes away. You know we had to do it. We are for the love of theme parks, and this is Gideon's vs. Crumble, Crumble Cookies. We kick off today's bout with the drive to Crumble Cookies while we waited for our Gideon's return time. Yes, they are still doing virtual lines during busy days at Gideon's. There are a total of 10 Crumble Cookies locations in Orlando. This one is on the corner of Daryl Carter Parkway and Regency Village Drive. This is the chocolate chip cookie. This is a classic. Um, I'm gonna try this one first. Ooh, it's squishy. That's really good. Is it? Yeah. First thing I noticed is that this is like literally like, like squishy, and that's like a, in a good way, a very, very good way. We'll see how this is. Oh my gosh. I know. I told you. We're probably trying between six and eight cookies a day, so I need to stop myself right here, and we are taking all of these home. Oh my gosh, though. Top tier, top tier. <laughs> this is the milk cookie with fruity pebbles. I don't think I'm gonna be the biggest fan of this one. It's, it seems like it's just like a bowl of cereal in cookie form. I do like fruity pebbles on their own, but maybe not as a cookie. I'm not the biggest fan of fruity cookies. I know Isabel will probably like this one a lot. We'll see. I mean, I like the cookie. Like it's good cookie, but I, I don't like, I don't think the fruity pebbles add to it. It's okay. I don't love it though. Next, we had the French toast cookie. Go for it. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh my God, this is really good. <laughs> but you need a fork and a knife for this one. Yes. 100%. Yes. This is gonna be the most awkward shot, but. Oh my God. Isn't that amazing? Oh. So, if you're a fan of French toast, this French toast one is definitely like 100% the way to go. Very messy. Um, it's like, it's just like, a it feels like just a dessert version of like French toast. You know what I mean? Like even more so than yes, French it, toast it, is it's, already. It's, it's definitely a lot sweeter than regular French toast, but it's amazing. It's just falling apart. Yeah, and the only other big thing too is if you like cinnamon rolls, that is a huge, oh, yes. that is like exact, it's just like a cinnamon roll cookie. Yes, especially with the icing, because it has icing on top. Yeah, the icing is so good. Okay, we're, we're, going, we're going to the last one of these crumble cookies now. Um, hopefully this one is as good as the other ones. It looks like that is probably gonna be the case. I can tell this one came out of the freezer. Is so. it freezing cold? It's not freezing cold, but like it's sweating. Oh, okay. It's, it's a lot stiffer than the other cookies. Um, it's a, a snickerdoodle, I think, um, with uh, Twix and chocolate and caramel on top. Okay. Yeah, so it's not bad. I just don't love this one. So this one I am actually looking forward to a lot because I can tell it's literally like a can candy bar with like caramel and chocolate. I love caramel and chocolate. So I'm gonna get a huge bite of this one. It's weird. Yeah. It's like, it just tastes like they melted a candy bar on top, like a fun sized one. Yeah. And then they threw the whole thing in the freezer. Like the bottom of the cookie, I don't know if you could see that at all. Like this is like really solid. Yeah. But it's like not, it's, it's not, not a bad, bad solid. It's not like it's a just, frozen, yeah. you know. Yeah. Very good. Definitely out of these, what would you say your top ones would be though? French toast is top for me. French toast, which we got right here. Definitely number one. And the chocolate chip, classic chocolate yes. chip is probably... Number two. Probably number two as well. I don't know. It's weird to say that because they have so many specialty ones here. They have such great, great options here that like, it's definitely more of a variety than what's at Gideon's, but we'll, we'll have to see. I still don't know. I Right now, as of right now, I still don't know what, what we would prefer, you know? We just made it back to Gideon's. Any idea on what you might get? Um, I'm thinking peanut butter crunch. Original chocolate chip, maybe the dark coffee cake cookie, and maybe the peanut butter cold brew cookie, or the banana bread chocolate chip. I don't know. And these ones we will definitely need to take home just like crumble because these are massive, massive cookies, even like bigger than the crumble cookies. Isabel, would you like to reveal our Gideon's haul? What did we get? I think they're all individually wrapped, uh -oh. so. <laughs> First up, we are trying the standard chocolate chip cookie from here at Gideon's. I've had this one once before. Let's see how it is. Uh-oh. 
if you love chocolate, that's most of it. It's mostly chocolate, like unsweetened chocolate chips. That's what it tastes like. But once you get to the center, it's a lot better. We'll have Isabel try a centerpiece. So Isabel is trying a bite over my existing bite so we can get a little bit more of the center. What do you think? I think it's too much chocolate. <laughs> this is your first ever Gideon's cookie. I think it's too much chocolate. <laughs> I will say, if you are trying this cookie, try and get it during their hot cookie hour. If you're not familiar with what hot cookie hour is, I believe if it's from like five to six or six to seven, I'll let you know right here. Um, it's when they serve their cookies hot with ice cream, and I believe you can only select a few different types of cookies. I had that one last time with vanilla ice cream, and oh my goodness, you're gonna need um, probably a stretcher after you eat the whole thing by yourself because it is that, it puts you out. So maybe you make sure you head back to the hotel or something, but I will say it's better during hot cookie hour. We're gonna try some new new ones that I haven't had yet though. So this one's the peanut butter cold brew. So it's an overload of flavor combining our peanut butter cookie with our fresh ground coffee bean covered in peanut butter cups and Reese's Pieces. Whoa, look at that. The Reese's piece is what's really intriguing me. Let me know how it is. Again, it's a lot, but I like it. One, I like it better than the last one. I will say that the Reese's pieces are really good, but there is a definite coffee flavor to it. So if you don't like the flavor of coffee, I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's like I could taste the grounds in it, but I don't hate it. Yeah, it's weird. It's confusing. <laughs> it's very, very peanut buttery. I will say. It's a lot, again, all these are a lot. I keep saying that, but not the worst. Definitely not the top of our list for Gideon's. This one's the cookies and cream, which I think is pretty self-explanatory. I'm hoping this one's gonna be a little bit better. So let's try. That's amazing. It this is? This one's good. I used to make these cookies when I was in high school. You could take an Oreo and then put chocolate chip cookie dough outside of it. And this is what, that's what it is in a simplified form. I don't know. I like that one. I would imagine the cookies and cream would have at least a little bit of cream in it. It just tastes like Oreos on the top of like a regular cookie from them. I don't know. I like it. It's not what I was expecting. So maybe that's why I'm not the biggest fan of this one. I don't know. I liked a lot of the crumble ones. I've also had too many cookies, <laughs> but we do have one more still. And last, but certainly not least, we have the peanut butter cookie from here at Gideon's. This one has been hyped up a lot. I heard it's one of the best ones they have here. Let's see how it is. That's a lot of peanut butter. Oh my <laughs> God. This feels like there's like a, I just had a giant spoonful of peanut butter, but there's also like, it's weird because it's like peanut butter on the outside, but it's like a peanut butter cookie. If you ever have just like a regular peanut butter yeah. cookie, except it's like, most peanut butter cookies I've had were overcooked in my lifetime, and this is like absolutely perfect. So I don't know, this might be my favorite from Gideon's. Um, it is a lot of peanut butter. It's pretty good. I would say it's, I don't know if I like this one or the last one more. But like, again, I'm not, I'm not like wowed like I was with Crumble, that's the thing, you know? I know. And I think it's just because everybody within the theme park sphere is like, oh my gosh, Gideon's is the best. But I mean, the theming is amazing. I love the theming, I love the packaging. I don't know, we'll have to sit down and think it through. When comparing two completely different cookie shops, we had a couple things to consider. One, taste. Two, variety. Three, theming. Four, ease. And of course, five, the one that everybody's probably thinking about, the price. First, I do wanna to touch on Crumble. Crumble is really, really good at making cookies. And I know that sounds weird, but Gideon's is kinda of not the same. No, it's different. Gideon's, like, the cookies are so dense that like, you cannot eat a full cookie in one sitting. That's the other thing, is that like, it's a good cookie shop if you're on vacation, and that's why it's at Disney Springs. But if you're trying to do this on the week, don't do this on the weekly, please don't. Oh, no. 
The variety at Gideon's and the variety at Crumble is pretty much the same. They have a good handful of cookies at once. They each have little seasonal type cookies. Yeah. I know Gideon's really loves touting that they've got like, ooh, you know, cookie of the month and yeah. all that other stuff, but they're pretty much the same variety wise. Theming is the one category where Gideon's just completely knocks Crumble out of the water. So the Crumble theming, I don't, it's kind of like a... It's sleek, it's it's clean, it's minimalist. But it also feels like a lot of other different, like, yeah. you know, Chipotle or, you know, Know, sprinkle, sprinkle has yeah, a very yeah, similar a lot, theme. Things like that, but Gideon's, on the other hand, is it's like gothic, dark, spooky. Ooh, I don't know. It's fun. It's very fun. Very fun. When considering ease, Crumble kicks Gideon's out of the water on the other end of it. Yes. Oh my gosh. Gideon's is such a pain. We had such a hard time filming this video, which it, it shouldn't have been that hard. But we we go to Gideon's. There's a three hour wait. And we're like, oh my gosh, this is terrible. We'll go to the other Gideons because there's a second location, not at Disney Springs. We go there, it's closed. So anyway, uh, we film this on different days, if you yeah. can't tell, because of how difficult it is to get into Gideons. If you typically, on a weeknight, if you're at Springs, you could get in there later, like at night, like towards the, like nine yeah. o'clock-ish, maybe, but that's never guaranteed. They literally have a bouncer outside of yep. their, um, their club. It's not even a club. I don't know. Whatever. It's very difficult, and I wish it wasn't that way. If you have a rental car and you know for sure the other location is open, yes. drive to it. It's worth the 25, 30-minute drive to the other Gideon's, the one other Gideon's location. But, yeah, Gideon's definitely loses real hard on the ease category yes. of this judgment, I guess. And last but not least, the most important category for a lot of people, the pricing. Gideon's is very expensive. We paid about $6 per cookie, a total of our four pack of how much? It was somewhere between like $26, $27. Um, we did have a Disney gift card, yes. which we could use at the Gideon's Disney Springs location, yes. which was great. If that is the route you wanna go, I'd highly recommend it. Crumble, we only paid how much? $10.48. Plus and I know, tax. I, I, I know the, the cookies are so much so much uh, larger at Gideon's, but... Okay, let me tell you something. That French toast cookie was life-changing. Life-changing. So, do we have a final verdict? Crumble. It's not even close. I was hoping it would at least be like a little bit closer, but like, the only thing Gideon's has over Crumble is the theming. That's it. Nothing else. And the other thing is like, I don't know, Gideon's is the experience, I guess. Yeah. And it's the influencer spot. That's the thing is that like social media has made Gideon's this like this untouchable best cookie in the entire world. And it's good. It's really good. But it's not like, I don't know. There's another spot five minutes away. If you have a car, if you have a Uber, honestly, I think you could Uber there and back and still save. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I don't know. Money. It depends how big your family is too. But like, oh no, it's just like everyone hypes Gideon's up so much. And like, it's good. It's great. The theming's beautiful. Go to Crumble. Go to Crumble. Try it. It's definitely something, if you, especially if you've done Gideon's already, try Crumble. It's very, very good. And portions are a lot easier to consume. With that being said, that's everything we have today in our video. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to our channel. That's pretty much it. Let us know in the comments down below what you would prefer or any other future video topics. We are always taking suggestions. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.